Soon we're gonna get a glimpse into the future of 3D printing. Form Next is right around the corner, November 18th through the 21st, and this is where a ton of 3D print manufacturers showcase their latest innovations when it comes to 3D printing. Whether it's new machines, new materials, new accessories, usually they go ahead and showcase it here. But not everyone does, so these are just gonna be some of my wish list and what I'm looking forward to when it comes to Formnex. Now, if you guys are interested in 3D printing news, actually every single Friday, I do come out with an episode of 3D printing news, where I just kind of recap the week's news when it comes to 3D printing and anything else I'm interested in. That happens every single Friday at 6 a.m. Arizona time. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to check it out, hit that subscribe button and that like button and comment down below guys, what you're looking forward to at Form Next for this video. So the first thing I'm hoping we see is that Bamboo Lab shows off the H2C. Do I really think this is realistic? No, but I'm very interested in seeing that Vortex system in action. And we did see a picture on the latest 3D printing news where at least someone received an H2C in box. So I'm hoping that Bamboo Lab takes this opportunity to showcase it to some people in person. But again, I don't think this is gonna happen. I think the actual reveal is gonna be in early December. The next thing that I'm looking forward to is Elgu. Elgu, what is going on with their newest Jupiter printer? They actually teased this earlier in the year and now we're finally gonna get another tease or another look at it. And then the next thing is the Centauri Carbon 2 is confirmed to be at form next. Are we gonna get answers when it comes to, are you still supporting a multi-material unit system for the original Centauri Carbon? That's one question I do think a lot of people have. A lot of people are overreacting online and you know myself included, I'm like, I don't know if we're gonna get a multi-material unit system. Now, I have said, put down the pitchforks until we get something confirmed by Elegu, but I'm hoping at Form Next when they're showing off their newest 3D printer, we get a concrete answer as to, hey, are you actually still working on this? According to like their September, I think it was September 30th post, or is this something you're kind of moving on from? I hope we get something confirmed because it'll be since a month and a half since their last comment on their multi-material system outside of some customer support email saying, hey, we're working on it. Another major thing that I am looking forward to seeing, or at least seeing how it works, is the Bontech system on Prusa printers. Now, this has been a thing that a lot of people are really excited for and including myself, I want—I just wanna see, I'm, I love just seeing the newest innovations when it comes to technology and this stuff. And I just wanna see how it is really going to work. And one big question I think is also the cost because if you can buy a Prusa Core 1 with the full Bontech system at $2,500 or $2,000, would you buy that over an H2C at $2,500, which is probably bigger? Um, you know, I think those are a lot of questions we have. I mean, we haven't seen the H2C, we haven't seen the Prusa Core 1 work. You know, a lot of the specs on Prusa are still a lot lower than that of their competitors. So that's what really makes it interesting. Um, but again, I think a lot of us are looking forward to seeing like, hey, how does the Bontech system integrate with the Prusa Core 1 or even the new Prusa Core 1L? How does, how does that work? And is that printer going to be $3,000? Again, I'm just looking forward to getting these questions answered. Of course, what I'm looking forward to is new 3D printers. I'm sure any Cubic's gonna be there when it comes to the S1 Max. We've already confirmed, or we've already shown that Elegoo's gonna be there with the Centauri Carbon 2, the new Jupiter. GD's already said they're gonna bring new 3D printers to Formnex as well. They've been showcasing a larger version or they've compared a larger version to the Q2. Is this gonna be the Max 4? I thought it was gonna just be the GD Q2 max but a lot of you guys are saying like i i don't think so i think it's going to be a different 3d printer and it does look to have a ton of upgrades they even said as of today it's going to have new motors it's going to have like a cooling assist that i covered in the last 3d printing news there's a lot of innovations when it comes to this new printer or a not a lot of, not maybe innovations but a lot of new things when it comes to this new 3d printer but the innovation would be that ac cooling system are they going even hotter than the 370 or whatever their max temp is currently? That would seem to make sense with the new board. So I guess we shall see in another week what they're planning with this new 3D printer. We also see new materials all the time. I'm hoping that one day we see some sort of innovation when it comes to PLAs and maybe actually being recyclable. Will we see like a filament recycler there? I wish that is one of my wish lists for something when it goes into 2026. 
Can we get a filament recycler? Can we get something that can take our supports and turn them back in? I know there was one announced, but it kind of has been like wishy-washy. Some people think it might've been a scam uh, when it comes to filament recyclers. I'm not gonna name the company, but I think we all know who I'm talking about when it comes to that. In past years, you've also seen like chocolate 3D printing. That's some of the cool stuff that you see. Cruiser recently had their tool head that they showed off with liquid 3D printing, but can that be adapted to do for other things? A lot of people are saying you could potentially do chocolate with that. You could do the silicone molds, resin printing. There's a lot of different things too when it comes to that. We'll, we'll see a lot of this stuff being developed. Now, as far as like my wish list, I'm hoping we get a resin printer it, this is one thing that I hope that we start to see in 2026, and I think it would be a fantastic idea. I hope eventually we get a resin printer that can wash, cure, do all of that in one. It can print, then it'll just, I don't know, the, the, maybe you transition it over here, and then it'll wash it, and it'll cure it in the same thing. I hope there's something that can kind of take away all the chemical system. I, how would they do it? Would it probably be super big? Yeah, at first, would it be super expensive? Of course, probably like $2,000 to $3,000 to start just for a smaller like Mars sized version of it. That's one thing I want to see when it comes to resin 3D printing. Also something I would like to see when it comes to 3D printing is the elimination of layer lines. I think eventually we'll get there when it comes to 3D printing, but they'll get rid of layer lines. But maybe another company is working on something. Maybe it's a different material that kind of meshes together. That would be very interesting to see if that actually occurs. And maybe it already exists and I don't know about it. But what are you guys looking forward to when it comes to Form Next? What are you looking forward to seeing? Let me know in the comments down below. We'll be sure to have a happy discussion in the comments. I always read your comments, reply to everybody. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.